Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Age of Sigma. Today Christian and I are playing a meeting engagement and it's going to be Stormcast Eternals versus the Disciples of Zeech. Yeah. This is the uh, first time I've used this army since the new codex. I am not sure what I'm doing. It's a small army at the moment, but I have like a lot of unbuilt stuff. I have a huge army, but it's all unbuilt and unpainted. So I'm just I'm just starting to learn. I'll probably get a lot of stuff on. Whereas I'm going back to my first army. My Stormcast. So the mission we are playing is the raid. The objectives are set up. And um, it's victory points for wounds and holding the majority of objectives. You can also raise them. And you can raise and you get points for having equal numbers. So, my force on the board, my Lord Celestant is my general, and I'm playing Hammers of Sigma, which means he has got the command traits, we cannot fail, and the artifact, a God-forged blade. I've got two units of basic liberators, and two prosecutors, one with the javelins, one with the hammers, and I've got a storm surge in there. Storm surge trident. Uh, my. I've been playing so much war cry. Rear guard? No, rear guard's on. Main force is on. Spearhead, yes, that's it. My spearhead that comes in turn two is my Lord Relictor. The prayer he has taken is blessed weapons, and I've got two units of. Paladin Retributors. There we go. Each one of those has got a soul mace. That is 980 points of Stormcast Eternals. Okay. Uh, for my army today, I am using not a lot of stuff, only six units. So my general is a Zangor Shaman. He has the Bolt of Zinch magic thing. And as I am using the Pyrophane Cult sub faction, he has the artifact, the, the Chainfire Amulet, and the Shrouded in Natural Flame command trait. I also have a Ogrid Thaumaturge. He has the. Where is it? Infusion Arcanum spell. And then I have a Gaunt Summoner who has. Uh, the Glimpse of the Future and Zeech's Firestorm spells. As for units, I just have Zangors, Kyrak Acolytes, and Skyfires. Okay, well, Christian finished setting up first, so do you want the first turn? Yes, I do. But first things first. First things first, yes. I'm going to roll my fake dice. Okay. Now he's using the dice that don't show up on camera, so. They show up on camera, fine. <laughs> Three sixes, uh, two fives, one four. Two threes and a one. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Right. Disciples of Zinch, turn one. Okay, so in my hero phase, I'm not going to do any command abilities. Uh, but I'm going to do some magic. So, he's going to cast Mystic Shield on himself because I need, I need magic. I assume that's enough. I've never cast Mystic Shield. Yes, that's enough. Okay, uh, I need a thing. This, this can be... I'm pretty sure there's tokens, but I can't bother to get them out. Actually, that's going to Okay, so he's got Mystic Shield, and that is one fake point. Now let's do these guys. So they're going to... Oh, damn. Those aren't Kyrak Acolytes. Kyrak Acolytes aren't going to do anything, because they're not on the board yet. Uh, then just this guy. He's going to do Arcane Bolt. He cast it, but... Oh no, nothing's in range. Oh well. Movement. Yes. So, movement. These guys ran to forest. Ogroid ran over there, and these guys just flew over there. So, Zangor Shaman, what does he do? He gives them a plus one to hit. So, threes and twos. Here's what I'm going to do, because I feel like it. Uh, one of the normal guys is going to get a six. Oh. Who are you shooting at? The, uh, oh, those guys I've got to mention. The hammer people. Uh, who is it worth? Is it worth doing it? I'm just going to roll the other two normally. So, 
Uh, pink needs a 2, orange needs a 3. Ah, pink missed. But that's fine. So, that is d3 mortal wounds and a 3 to wound. That's d3 mortal wounds. Let's roll this one. That is 1. If you say so. The skull. The skull is a 1. There's each symbol is a 6. Then the others are just in numbers. That's me done. That is the end of your turn. Yes. Okay, Stormcast Eternals, turn one. Okay, um, command ability wise, I'm going to do Furious Retribution. Okay. What does that do? Uh, Furious Retribution. Uh, da, 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 anyone within 12 inches of him gets one to hit rolls. Okay. In the combat phase. Oh. Not the shooting phase. Okay. Right, movement. Okay, two units of liberators ran to capture objectives. They just did it. They're there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, he went up there. These two units just flew over to engage this one. Shooting! I've got some shooting. I'm going to start with my Lord Salston using his Sigmite War Cloak. Hmm. So, in the shooting phase. Make d6 magic attacks. Pick one enemy unit within 16 inches. That one there. And on a 4 plus, it suffers a mortal wound. You know, I've noticed that Age of Sigma have really liked their three man flying units. Yes, yes they do. Right. 4 plus. No. Okay. Then we'll have the prosecutors. So, this unit here, with the. Da, 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 da. That's the one with the javelin. Yep. Three attacks with the javelins. Hitting on twos because of his ability. All of them hits. Wounding on threes. That is, well, three. No rent. Okay, three five ups. One wound, I think. That is one wound, yes. And the trident. Hitting on a two. Yep. Yeah. Wounding on a three. Yep. Yeah. That's a rend of one. Six up. No. And that's two damage. Okay. Hammers next. Six attacks in total. Hitting on three. Yep, threes. Ooh, dearie me. Nice. Wounding on fours. Oop. We've got both of them. Again, no rend. Two five ups. No, that's another two wins. <gasps> I killed one. Yeah. Just one more. Right. That is all for shooting. Let's do some charging. So I'm going to start by this unit charging. Okay. This unit charging. What's that one? So that is 12 inches. Wait, 3d6 total? Yeah, I can charge 18 inches. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, hello there. And that unit's going to charge as well. Do they also do 3d6? They have the same unit. Oh. That is 10. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to start with... The javelins and the trident, I think. So, javelins. That's going to be two attacks. Hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Both of them hit. Wounding on fours. Yep, no rend. No rend. Fives. Another one wound, I assume. Yep. And the trident hitting on three, wounding on four. No. no. That's that unit. That's me now. I'm going to do my shaman. My shaman's going to go and attack your hammers. Okay. So uh, let's start with my staff of change. I have one attack, fours and threes. 
That is a minus one. That gives me a save of five. No. That's D3 damage. That's one damage. It's enough to kill someone. Oh, no, is it? I haven't. Oh, yeah, I attacked the hammers, didn't I? I assume you were attacking the hammers. Charged in your direction. I said I was attacking the hammers, but I, I thought I attacked the spears in the shooty phase, but I guess I attacked the hammers. We're having a wings issue. Wing issue. Ah, uh, imagine having wings. I float on discs. Okay. And then we've got the ritual dagger. That's two attacks. Fours and fours. Nope. And then the teeth and horns from the discs. So D3. Two. Fours and threes. Minus one. Two. Five ups. Oh. Yes. Okay. Right, and then it's just those two guys to attack. That's going to be total three attacks. It's plus one attack for the prime. And. Oh, no, it's not. It's five attacks, because they have two attacks base. <laughs> so, um, and we're on twos to hit. And threes to wound. Oh, hang on. Oh, hanging on. We roll the one because it's a pair of hammers to hit and to wound. So that is three with a rend. Oh, no, no rend, sorry. Three five ups. So. No, three wounds. Three wounds, yep. Yeah. Let's start with this bow stave. Two attacks, fives and fives. Yeah. Then his vicious beak, one attack, fours and fives. No, then his disc D3 attacks. Two attacks, fours and threes. And that's minus one. Five up. This is against the hammers, but. Yeah, still five up. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> right, so then one. against the hammers when they're all the way over there. Because they're both in combat. I can actually, yeah. That was probably against the things, but it didn't hit. Okay. Right, that is the end of the turn. So, first of all, we are both holding. Two objectives each. Ah, but who did more wounds? It was yes, you. but you get a separate thing. So for that, we get it's one, isn't it? It's one no, it's two. three for holding the most. I don't think it's anything for holding the same, unless it is. It's one. One each. Yep. And yes, who calls the most wounds? You. That is three for me. Actually, I'll double check. No, that's two for me. Yeah, you cause more wounds. So it's three to one at the end of turn one. That is fine. I can take this back. Okay. Right. Let's just do priority. Priority for turn two. All right. Priority roll. That is a five for me. It's a three. Three. Okay. Stormcast Eternals. Turn two. Ooh. Right. So here a face. He's going to do the same command trait again. Which was I literally forgot what it was now. It was the one on his thing. Oh yeah, the combat phase one. That one. Okay. So the and um, prayer. Yeah, bless weapons over there on the units. Yes. Right then, movement. Okay, shooting phase. Start with him doing his cloak of many hammers. Four plus. Come on. Come on. No. That was not anti-climatic. Right, and then prosecutors. So let's start with the javelin guys shooting at that one guy there. So that is going to be two javelins. Needing three to hit. I'm going to cheat this time. Three to hit. One of them hits. And... Like an extra attack, isn't it? Two of them hit. And three's to wound. It's two, no rend. Two, five up. It's one. One damage. One damage. It's on wings. And the trident. Three's to hit. Yep. Three to wound. It's a rend of one. Six up. No. It's two wounds. Ah, oh, he's dead now. Fly away. I've got three more of those, and I've also got six enlightened. 
Okay, hammers are going to shoot the shaman. Shoot the shaman. Right, force to hit. And force to wound. It's two, no rend. Two five ups. Really thought he'd have a better save. A wound. <gasps> He's got Mystic Shield. That didn't do anything though. That three or ones, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that is all my shoot in. Let's do some charging. So these guys are going to charge. That is eight. So I'd say yes, that's enough. Let's get all these guys. In. Um, those guys are going to charge. Seven. That's a yes. Yes. And I'll just roll for the relictor as well while I'm standing over here. That is a seven as well. Right, I'm going to start with the retributors over there attacking the Ogroid. So that is going to be a total of nine attacks from the lightning hammers, needing threes to hit. Ooh, no sixes, that's a shame. And threes to wound. Oh dear. Okay, that is two with a rend of one. Two six ups. Does nothing in this army have a four up save? And that is going to be four wounds. Four wounds. Nice. And then I'm going to hit you with my soul mace. Uh, for this, I just roll a dice. And on a six, nice. you suffer d3 plus one mortal wounds. Mm. That is three mortal wounds. Okay. Uh, for my first bunch of attacks, the savage blades are going to have 25 attacks, hitting on threes and wounding on fours. No, wait, wounding on... Wounding on threes as well. So we took a lot of three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen normal saves. Four ups. That is one, two, three, four, five fails. So that is one dead. And two carry over. Oh they have three wounds each. Yes. I think they only have two. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, now I have the Savage Great Blades, of which there are two. So an extra attack, because of the... There are nine or more of them. Fours and threes. Okay, that's two with a minus one. Two five ups. That's two damage. Two damage. So... Another one dead, and one coming over. Right, I'm going to do my um, da, 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 Lord Relictor next. So he's got four attacks. He's hitting on threes. And he's wounding on threes. Oh, just the one. Surrender of one. Six up. I'm going to spend these. Six. Boom. I'm good. Is that you done? That's that you done, yeah. Oh, great. It's going to go. Okay, let's start with my great horns. I'm going Ooh, to attack. Exactly. How many wounds does the character have? Is it six? Five. Five. Ooh. I could kill him, but I think I could deal more wounds to the unit. So I'm going to go against the unit. Okay. So, going into the retributors. I think that's what they're called. Yes. So, two attacks with my great horn. Uh, any bonuses? No. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. I do have a bonus. Reroll hit and wound rolls if I have suffered wounds or mortal wounds earlier in this phase. So, threes and threes rerolling. Six to anything? No. Okay, that is two with a minus two. That is two six ups. That is three wounds. That's enough to kill one. Take away, I believe that's a normal dude. Yes, normal dude. Now I've got the Thaumaturge Staff. Uh, threes and threes are rolling. 
Mm. That's two with minus one. Two five ups. Two d3. That Three, is five wounds. Five, so that is one dead and two carried over. And finally, we've got the cloven hooves, which are fours and threes re rolling. That was a four, I think. I don't know now. I can't remember. I think it was a four. If it's not a four, then I'm. Um, Threes. Okay, that's two no round. Two four ups. That's one wound. That's another one dead. <coughs> okay, that's that guy done. Right. Well, just this combat here now. So let's have this unit pile the unit attacking. So that is Javelins, it's going to be two attacks with the javelins. Healing on threes and wounding on fours. Just the one, no round. Okay, uh, five up. Nope, so that's another wound on me. And the storm surge, hitting on three, wounding on four, minus one. Okay, six up. Nope. Two wounds. Two wounds. That's it. My go. Shaman, I'm going to attack the hammers. Okay. So, uh, staff of change. Fours and threes. No. Uh, ritual dagger. Fours and fours. Yes. No rend. Four up. No. And teeth and horns, D3. Damage. Damage. Oh, uh, one. Just one. Okay, just one. One attack from the teeth and horns. Fours and threes. No. I'm done. And then my hammers. Woo! Ah. Wings! Annoying wings, do your things. Yeah, so they'll come in this way, but I know they've just completely reversed the order they're in. I have depth perception issues. Right. So, hammers, that's going to be a total of five attacks. Hitting on threes. Yep. Wounding on fours. That is three, no rend. Three wounds. Two. So okay. you can five times. That is everyone, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. So that's the end of my turn. Yes. Back for Zinch. Turn two. Yeah. Right, so at the start of turn Zinch turn two, we have discovered that we have made a very large mistake. So Things coming at the end of the turn, where it says they're coming. So his things shouldn't even come on yet. So just uh, just to make it fair, I put my things on the board. It says I do. Um, okay. So, uh, brought on is a Gaunt Summoner and some Karak Acolytes. So, here are his stuff. The Gaunt Summoner, uh, contrary to popular belief, is not going to summon any Tyranids. He's going to summon in some Pink Horrors. So, how do you think that? Right, so that uh, replaces it, one of his spells. So now he's going to do his other spell, which will be Zinch's Firestorm. So, it's a casting value of... I need a 9. I'm going to use... I don't want to use my last 6. I'm going to use the 5 on one of these dice. So you need to get a 4? Yes. Ooh. Okay. And who are you casting that on? This unit, I think. That unit there. Okay. So it's yeah, it's 18 inches, so I could I could cast it on the flying things if I wanted to. In fact, I will, because I think there's animals happening. So I'm going to cast this on the spears. Okay. So how this works? I roll nine dice. Each. And for each. 
each six, you suffer D3 mortal wounds. Rubbish. That's two sixes. That's better. Okay. So you suffer five mortal wounds. Not bad. That's most of the unit wiped out, isn't it? They have two wounds each, don't they? Yes. Yes, mostly. So let's keep my. My trident is what I'm trying to keep. Where's my trident? So you've got rid of your Sarge, just on the train left. Yes. Okay. okay. So it's him done. More magic. We have the Ogred Thorn Surge. Yeah, you know what I'm forgetting? What? I'm so used to playing oh. armies where I don't have to make bravery checks that I'm forgetting bravery checks. Same. I didn't need to know. Hang on, well, I do. So they lost two. Did they? Oh, they did, yeah. I think you're talking about the hammers. The hammers lost one, I don't think they did. They lost three, though. They lost three. Seven, still okay. Okay, Ogred Thornter. So his spell that he's got is uh, Choking Tendrils. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to do that. That's very good. So, I'm going to cast Choking Tendrils. It's a seven. I don't get it. And now their spell, which is a six. Yes, they get it. It adds one to the rend value of their shooting attack. Okay. On to... Uh, Movement. Just checking if there's anything else to do in the hero phase. I don't think there is. Movement. Uh, movement. Everything just sort of moved up. The only shooting I have left are the Karak Acolytes. Ooh, and the Pink Horus. I think the Pink Horus shoot. I'll check that in a sec. Uh, so, remembering that rend is increased by one. To one. So that's ten attacks. Who are they shooting? They'll shoot at your character. No. Yeah, they'll shoot at the character. Okay. So, uh, ten attacks. Let's count. Six. Ten. Fours and threes. That's minus one. Three four ups. One got through. Sweet. I gave it to you one now. Up. But you weren't looking. One. Okay. So 15 attacks. Uh oh. Ah! Ah! Down. Down. Good dude. Meow. You go to your spot. Okay. Right. Fives and fours. See? Oh, okay. Actually quite terrible. Oh. Two. No round. Oh, I haven't even mentioned what I'm shooting at. Uh, two four ups. Ooh. Two four ups. One one, one wound. wound. The Karak acolytes are going to charge. There's plenty. I'm just going to surround you. Uh, Pink Horror is also going to charge. That's good. I like that. I do. Thank you very much. Uh, Gold Summoner. Where the hell am I? That's pretty good. Let's go here, so you can't, they, they can't pile into if they wanted to. Okay. That is my entire army in combat. Okay. Okay. Where do you want to start? I shall start with the Ogrid Thaumaturge. Who's going to attack your character? Or is he? No, he's going. Yeah, he's going to take the character. So, uh, he has not suffered wounds this phase, so we will not be re rolling. Great horns, threes and threes. Ah. Thought of stuff, threes and threes. 
a minus one. That is a four up. Yep. Okay, and Cloven Hooves. Uh, falls and freeze. No rend. That's uh, three up. One. One wound. Yes. One wound. Okay. Right, I'm going to do these guys attacking the beast men. Zangors. Retributors attacking the bestigors. They're not bestigors, are they? Zangors. Zangors. They're better than best. Right, two's to hit. Do. Come back to that in a second. And three's to wound. Oh, actually, six means I've got another attack. So I suppose I roll again. I missed. And three's to wound. Right, so that is three saves with a minus one. So that's three five ups. That's three wounds. So no, that's two four six. That's eight wounds. Eight wounds? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Then the mace. Two is. Ba, 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 ba. D3 mortal wounds. That's just one mortal wound. Pink horrors. And only hitting on fives and fours. Nothing. Nothing. Wow, good job, guys. You have successfully done a grand total of nothing. Okay. Alright, uh, next up I'm going to do the two uh, retributors over there. Yep. So it's going to be... The, uh, the sergeant and the man, big, big way, big mace. So that's five attacks. Oh no. Sergeant and big mace. Three attacks. Alright, threes to hit. There's a six there. Who are you attacking? Oh, uh, the unit, sorry. Okay. And threes... To wound. So that is one with a rend of one. Oh, I got my extra attack that I forgot. I did. Oh no. Okay, what did you do? I missed that. I've messed up my extra attacks. It was them that got it, not them. So as I roll for them, I'll not roll for them. Okay. Sorry. So two with a minus one. Uh, one. One with a minus one. One with a minus one and one mortal. Okay, that's mortal. So six up, because apparently everything is on. Um, right, so that's, that's four wounds. That's four six ups for my shields. That includes nice. mortal wounds, does it? Yes. Okay. Three, three dead. And then I'll hit the unit with the cell mace. You failed. Two, that's D3. Wait, what? Do you, do you need to hit? No. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. that's three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. Huh. Three sixes. That's one mortal wound. Karak Acolytes, they're going to attack the character. No. Gaunt Summoner is going to attack the thing. Okay. So I just have a Warp Tongue Blade and one attack. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to use my last six. Boom. Uh, no. No. No, I'm not going to use the six yet. I'm going to hit first. So hit on a three plus. Didn't even hit, I didn't use my last six, it's fine. Okay. Um, next I'm going to do my Lord Relictor. Lord Relictor is going to attack the Ogroid. So that's four attacks, needing threes. And needing threes. That's just the one, that's a rend of one. Six up. No. Just one damage. He's dead. Oh, excellent. Oh yeah, they have an attack. Okay, Karakak is going to fire them. So normal weapons, it's going to be four attacks. Fours and threes. Nope. And then big weapons. Fours and threes. That is a minus one. That is three, four, um, 
through five ups. One got through. That's two wounds. That's I'm two. not dead yet. Two wounds? I'm not dead yet. Okay. You attacking my character, were you? Yes. Oh, no, because I saved. I thought you were attacking my unit. Sorry. Um, me? Yes, just you or those guys. And that guy. So. Yeah, I'm going to do... Okay. You've attacked with them, haven't you? Yes. So, yeah, so... I've also attacked with the Gaunt on there. Yeah, so I'll attack him. Right, um, Storm Surge Javelin in combat is a three to hit, because of the prime, the general, and a four to wound. No. Okay, back to me. Uh, let's do the uh, angles. Okay, and these are threes and threes. Four. No four, four ups. Oh, nice. four got through. Four wounds. That is one dead and two carry over. And savage great points. Fours and fours. No. Wait. Fours and threes. Uh, minus one. So that's a five up. It's two wounds. Two wounds, he's dead. And it carries and over. And then it carries well. over to. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, my liberator is finally. Threes to hit. Threes to wound. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. No rend. Hit six. Six ups. Hey, not everything has a five up. Uh, then another five. I assume it's one in each. Yep. Then another five, six ups. Okay. So that's going to kill only three. But I found a thing. I found a thing on the back. Mm. If a pink horror is slain, I do not use my split and split again. We'll see roll a dice for each slain model and a five plus you suffer a mortal wound. That's a mortal wound. Okay, that ends the turn. So, objective-wise... I have that one, I'm afraid. You do. There's nothing I can do about that. One, two, three, four, five. So that gives you two points, is it? Uh, I can't remember you. I think it's three. Uh, yep, three for you. Okay. And then... Now we need to work out who has the most wounds, but there's a lot to work out. So, I shall work out how many uh, I have done, or you have done to me. Yep. Okay, that's another two to me. Oh dear, we're looking bad for the Stormcast. Did you get anything this time? Well, no, because... Oh yeah, sorry, I, I... No, I didn't get anything. You got the objectives, and you got the wounds, so I get nothing this turn. Good. Right, turn three. Here we go. Oop, that's a three. That's a five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I shall take it. So, at the start of turn three, I'm going to do some magic. So let's start with Glimpse the Future from my, um, not my only magic caster. No, I have, I have three magic casters left. I forgot that because my units can cast two. Okay. So, this guy, Glimpse the Future, it's a seven. I get it, lets me roll a dice and add it to the fateful. That is a two. It's kind of, kind of there. Okay. Then, I that's should... another point. Yes, summoning pool. Although I don't think I'll reach ten by the time the game ends. Right. Uh, I've gone way fast. Zeech's Firestorm, casting value of nine. He needs this five again. So I get it. Uh, on this unit, so nine dice. For each six up, it suffers D3 mortal wounds. That's it's only one. So you suffer one. That's one dead guy. Right, so then over here, uh, six. No. And over here, I don't actually know. I haven't mentioned yet. And that's the end of the hero phase. Onto movement. Right. No movement at all. No. So, shooting. <laughs> no movement. Uh, so, flames from the horrors. There are only seven left. 
so it's going to be 21. Six, one, two, three, six. four, five, seven, yes. Seven. 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 yes. Why did I do that? Okay, you know, uh, you know, you know last turn where mm. I said they had three shots each and I only rolled 15 dice? Mm-hmm. Because I can't do basic maths in my head. Mm -hmm. Okay, 21 attacks. Uh, five and fours. That is two, no rend. Two, four ups, if you could read that, thank you. Yes. Ah, that's fun. Uh, now we've got the Kyra deck eyes. Fours and threes, rend of one. One. None. None. Great shooting guys. Is that all your shooting done? Combat. Okay, who do you want to start with? I'm going to start with my Gion Summoner. No, no. I'm going to start with my Karakakorites. They're all going to go for Karakorites. Okay. Right. Four, uh, fours and threes. No. And then from the glaives, fours and threes. That is three with minus one. That is three four ups. You're going for the character, yes? Yes. Uh oh, three got through. That's that's uh That's him dead. How many has he got left? He's got three, three left. So it's three wounds. It was six, but yeah, three. Liberate second the horrors. That is eleven attacks, needing threes to hit. And they're needing three to wound. That is one, two, three, or oh, just three, no rend. Three six ups. <gasps> one six up. Huh. Oh no! That went horribly wrong. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do my Zangors. So, four, uh, threes, threes and threes. That is six with no rent. Six four ups. He's that is one two. two yes, years. he is dead. Right, next up I'll have my prosecutor attacking this guy. So one attack, needing three to hit. No. Right. Uh, all I've got left is the guy that you just attacked. No, I've got my pink eyes left as well, but I may as well do that. So, threes to hit. Yes. And six to wound. That is going to do D6 mortal wounds. Uh oh. You have what? Oh, well, I've one. got one wound left. Okay, and finally for me, my retributors. So that is going to be three attacks with the hammers, needing threes to hit. Mm, two hit. And threes to wound. That is just the one with a rend of one. Six up. How many wounds? Two. Six up. <gasps> two wounds. Decisions, decisions, and then the mace. That is D three plus one. Oh. That is just two. Okay. Um, pause. I think I forgot bravery last turn again. Oh, that's funny. We both did that time. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Seven attacks, eight attacks, eight attacks. Not that bad. Five and four. That's 
just one no rend. One four up. No. Oh, I did a wound. We killed one. I killed the guy. <sighs> Excuse me. My first liberator. And that's another win. Okay, that is the end of the turn, isn't it? Yes. Right then, Stormcast, turn three. So, something I forgot to do at the very beginning of this turn, that objective, I'm going to raise it. So I get D3 victory points from raising it. Three victory points. Damn you! Okay, on to, on to Stormcast. Damn you. Right, in the hero phase, only thing I'm doing is he's doing the same command ability he does every turn, so... And just get one here. Um, no one else can do anything because my priest is dead. Right, movement. Okay, movements. Prosecutor moved over here. Uh, Lord Selson just got down off his high horse. Right, shooting. So I think we're going to have the Selston doing his uh, war cloak. And we're going to do it on Zangors. So, four plus. No. There. And then we'll have the prosecutor throw his hammers. That's the prime, isn't it? Yes. So he's got two attacks, needing force to hit. Oh, at them, sorry. Force to hit, yes. And force to, uh, three to wound. Yep. No rent. Two five ups. <gasps> That's eight it's a wound. Right, um, charging. Yes. Let's do him first. So 3d6. Double one. One 3d6. Yes. So that's nine. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. He's going to charge. He's going to be charging eight. That is not enough to get me in combat with them, but it is enough to get me in combat with them. Bit of a waste, but yeah. They're in combat, they're staying where they are. Right then, I'm going to start with this guy fighting the Zangors. So that is going to be two attacks, needing twos to hit. Yep, yeah, threes to wound. Yep, yeah, no rend. Two five ups. No. It's two wounds. <gasps> so two wounds. Yeah. How many wounds have I done so far? Seven. Two, eight. Okay, you. Me. Uh, let's do over here. Yeah, let's do over here. So they're just gonna attack you guys. I uh, just got two attacks. Fours and threes. Boom. Round of one. Two five ups. It's uh, four wounds. Four wounds? Yes. Right, so I'm going to do my Lord Celestant attacking the horrors. So I'm going to start with my Rune Blade. This is the God Forge Blade. So that is four attacks, needing twos to hit. And threes to wound. That is three with a rend of one. Oh, sorry, it's a three there, didn't I? That is two with a rend of one. Two. How many wounds each? It'll be one for that and two for that. Three six ups. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. And that's two five ups to see if I do mortal wounds. That is a mortal wound to you. A mortal wound to me. And then my hammer. So it's two attacks, needing threes to hit. Oh dear, hmm, fails. Nice. That didn't go as well as I hoped. My turn. Well, Zangles. Zangles can go. Just gonna pile them all in. Gonna finish you off. So left in that unit, there are two great blades. The musician and the sergeant. So, sergeant has three attacks.
No, other way around. No, yes, no. Boom. Uh, got it. Okay. Threes and threes. That is three with no rent. Three four ups. Two get through, you're dead. Yeah, that's yeah, enough, isn't it? Two wounds. Okay, Liberators attacking the Horrors. That is a total of nine attacks, needing threes to hit. Ooh, not bad. And threes to wound. That is one, two, three, four, five. No rend. Okay, five, six ups. Then five, six ups. Then four, five ups. Right, that is uh, two mortal wounds to you and four of me dead. Now this. Roll a one. Oh, it's still me, is it? Roll a one. Okay, so mace on that. Roll a one. Damn. That is d3 wounds. Roll a one. That is two mortal wounds. Ah, oh, it's two wounds. Is that them all dead? Yeah. Excellent. Right, that uh, is the end. I'm of just going to say you piled in before you did that, so you're actually in range yeah. of the objective. Right. Um, so let's remember morale at the correct, bravery at the correct stage. So he lost one, can't fail. Because he did. Okay. Ah, nine. Nine. Yeah, I'm good for bravery. Right. So um, I control two objectives, and you control one. So that is three for me. Yes. Although I have caused more wounds. So did that's... you? Oh, you did as well. Yeah. I thought I caught up. No. So that's two for you. That's two for me. So the end of turn three, it is. It is six to eleven. Right. Um. I can't. I can't do anything. Oh. Let me just think, can I? If I were to raise that, that would get me what? D3? So three at max, bring you well, up. Let's, let's just go for the bare minimum, that would get me one. Seven. They could all charge over there and I could capture that. So let's assume I hold both objectives. That would get me another three, so that takes me to ten. Yes. No, let's play on, let's okay. play on. Right, um, let's draw priority for turn four. Six. Two. Okay, I get it. Stormcast, turn four. Okay, here at phase, he's just doing his usual command ability. Uh, movement. Oh, no. Raise. Raise. C3. Roll C3. one. C3. Nice. A one. Okay, um, well, see this thing here? That is the bane of my life, because it's still in combat, which means these guys can't go over there and take that objective. Uh, which means, uh, oh yeah, that was raised, it's not even there. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Which means, as we're currently on the 11 turn. and 7, I can't possibly get four victory points. So I can't capture more objectives, and even if I was to do more wounds, that's not enough. It had to be capture that objective, and I failed. Oh, no. So, I'm going to have to put this one down to each victory. Nice! I like this army, it definitely has potential, but I have so much more I need to build. Like, you can see the Ether War box over there. In this uh, in this pile, I've got a couple of each things, like Zangors and Karakakalites. The pile of shame. Yeah, the pile of shame. But yeah, I'll get around to these things eventually, and I'll learn how to use the army. I am sure, 100%, that I missed a ton of rules this game. Well, thanks for watching. Hello, camera. Hello. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you next time for Age of Sigma. Goodbye. Goodbye.